Welcome to the FM Radio Project. Hello guys, welcome to this project. Here is the FM Radio with Audio Assist on the breadboard and it's working. Um, you can see in the right, on the right side here we have the little LCD display. It's displaying the frequency and received signal level. It's kind of a relative uh, indication. Uh, the circuitry on the board, I'm using the Arduino Uno at the moment to run things. Over here I have the little um, power module which converts USB to battery charge and also 5 volts and here's the volume knob I'll just turn it up so that you can hear it it's quite a clear sound and uh, I will do the announce for you that's what it sounds like it's a little bit noisy and then the beeping as you change the frequency. So that's the the basic circuit working and uh, next we'll go to the actual build. So this is the printed circuit board manufactured by PCBWay and uh, PCBWay is also a sponsor for this project in that they were kind enough to provide me with these beautiful PCBs. I mean, look at this thing. It's beautifully done, beautifully made. It's absolutely perfect in every respect. Uh, it, it really is a beautiful job. So for your PCB needs, please consider PCB Way. Here I have the printed circuit board mostly populated with the components. I uh, have not added switches and potentiometers and things like that yet. There will be wires going to the board for those. And um, as you can see here, all the major components are on the board. This is the radio unit here. So I use a lot of modules, not only to save space and time, but also money. I mean, there's no way that I could design and manufacture an FM radio this size. You know, look at the size of this thing, and it's very compact. And it works perfectly. Uh, it's it's I squared C controlled. Now you'll see that I've had to add these jumper wires to the board because there's no connection on the radio for the audio or the antenna. The audio comes out of this jack and the antenna comes out of this jack and there's no pins. The only pins are power and the I squared C connection. So I've had to make that modification. And whenever I, I design a printed circuit board for the first time, and this is a tip for you when you're doing this, is things never quite work out like they do on the breadboard. There's always uh, something different, or you make a mistake or forget something. And in this case, uh, that is indeed exactly what happens. So I have this little area here where I just left some spare holes and pads in the printed circuit board where I could make a modification and you can see I've run a wire from the IC down to these resistors. So what happened here is that I had one of these ADC pins going to the battery supply to measure uh, the battery voltage and I was just running a line directly to it and uh, when, the, when the circuit is powered down power was leaking into the IC through this connection and causing a clicking sound in the speaker. So just to fix that temporarily, what I did is I used another ADC pin and again, hedging my bets, I had left a connection to a spare ADC pin on the IC and I've just put in a couple of resistors uh, that pull the pin to ground and also uh, provide some impedance in the line so that current to not too much current flows and that solved the issue and then I had another little work area down here I had forgotten to add this 1000 microfarad capacitor in the circuit to the speaker because 
uh, I had the I had the uh, capacitor off the breadboard connected to the spe right by the speaker and I forgot about it. So these things happen. So it's always a good idea to give yourself a little wiggle room uh, when, you're, when you're making a PCB for the first time. And I will fix these errors in the next edition of the, the PCB board uh, whenever I do that revision. And it's a very, very easy fix. Um, this is the beautiful board that PCB Way manufactured for me, and they were kind enough to sponsor this project by providing the board. And they did a beautiful job, and everything fits perfectly. And here I have the radio on the PCB up and running, and you can see that the LCD display is working. Um, I have most of the wires and switches connected, not everything, but enough to test it. Down here we have the battery, which is a 3300 milliamp battery, so it lasts quite a while. It, it'll, it'll run for more than 24 hours. Uh, volume is here. I'll turn it up so that you can, you can hear the radio. And the announce function, which uh, you can uh, start by pressing the switch on the rotary encoder. And there it goes. And I've, I've uh, arranged this so that the LCD display will only stay on for one minute and then it blanks out to save power. And if you touch any of the buttons, the announce button or the preset buttons or anything, it come, it, it'll come back on uh, while, you're, while you're adjusting the radio. So there it is. It's up and running. And uh, the next thing will be to put it into the... 3D printed case. This is the 3D printer printing the prototype case. So here I have one of my first attempts to print the radio case and as you can see some of the um, vertical pieces on the speaker grill broke out. There's a lot of sp supporting material that is printed with the case when you when you print it and it it helps hold things up but then you have to break it off or get it off and when, in the process of breaking it off it broke the uh, these struts and there you can see this plastic is, is really quite brittle um, this is a lower end plastic it's one of the cheaper plastics that I brought bought and it just doesn't work uh, I, I deliberately left some of the supporting material here so you could see uh, the supporting material on the end of it. And what you have to do is, is, is get something like a screwdriver and break this stuff off. And in the process of doing that, sometimes things break. Um, but it's, it's actually not a bad job. It's got these funny lines on it. Uh, the bottom's a bit rough too. And I'll show you the inside. This is the inside of the case. So... You can see where the, the PCB mounts, the LCD, and the, uh, the battery mount is here. The little mount for the, uh, I don't know if you can see that in the light, little mount for the, um, uh, the power module, the, char the charging module for the battery is there. And uh, yeah, so it's a bit of a failed attempt, but it's one of my first attempts. So I did it again. Oh, I'll show you the, um, I'll show you the, the plastic that I use. So this was made with a Creality plastic. That is the information on the box. I'm assuming that the number at the very bottom maybe is the is the uh, the model number or something. But I wouldn't recommend this this particular PLA plastic. It was about twelve dollars a reel or something. I got it at uh, Canada Computers, and it just doesn't work I'm going to return the rest of the the filament that I got. Now the one that did work which I have here also is this one here and you can see uh, the label and I'm assuming again the number at the bottom is uh, is the right model number and this this was more in the range of about 21 22 dollars something like that and I got a much better result. So I printed another case and I've 
also populated this case. So here's the here's the radio case, and you can see it's much better. There was no breakage in the grill. Uh, you don't have the lines. It's nice and smooth, and it worked. It worked much better. The antenna is just a uh, 1.5 meter or half wavelength piece of uh, wire, and you can see that I've printed the the labels here. So if you're visually impaired, you can sort of feel that. You can feel where the power is and so on. Um, USB power goes in here. Here's the contents of the radio and uh, the speaker, the radio, the battery, everything's in there and this is actually working. So uh, I'll just show you the back and then I'll show you it working. This is the back. Uh, it's just a prototype and I've left two holes in the back here so you can adjust the volume of the announce or the talk and the beep. So the pots that uh, the screwdriver can go through the hole to are here. Anyway, let me demonstrate this to you. Here is the radio. It is, it is on. Uh, the, the display will blank after a few seconds. But uh, I'll get the display back on here. If you touch any of the controls, it comes on. Here's the, here's the radio. And I will hold the microphone next to it so you can hear it. Becoming a party to the optional protocol to the convention. <laughs> this is nature. This is preventing so torture. So it's a higher tone, <laughs> under lower consideration tone going down. For at least 9.1 nine, nine FM. So as you can see, and I'm a bit disappointed in it, the talkie function in the Arduino is very noisy and um, it really takes a lot, sends a lot of power to the speaker. You saw the display kind of flickering a little bit. So this is an issue that I didn't really see too much on the breadboard, but now that I have it in the box, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to fix that as well. So there's going to have to be another uh, version of this, but this is the first version I will publish um, on Instructables and and then I'll do an improvement. My idea for the problem with the talk or the announce is to put in a low pass filter to filter out the noise and maybe a little amplifier if it's necessary. And I started working on that but it's going to take quite a while to get that working. We also have um, presets here so these preset buttons if you press and hold the button for three seconds it, it uh, retunes itself to the the frequency that you were pressing and then when you just give it a quick press it jumps to the frequency that you well those are both programmed for the same here's a different one yeah so that's the radio I think it's it's coming along really well the actual sound the sound of the actual FM radio is really nice especially with the speaker in the box uh, it's just a matter of trying to fix up the audio volume on the Arduino Talky which is producing the announcements uh, unfortunately I think it's limited because it's a kind of an old-fashioned way of doing it uh, I may in the future have to find a different way to do this uh, it's good enough, but it, it's just not great. Uh, so I'll see what I can do. So watch for future revisions. So there we go. The, the project is, is up and running and complete. So I'll publish very shortly on Instructables, and you can copy if you want. I will do a new PCB board in the near future with any fixes that I, uh, I'm going to put on the radio. That's it. Have a good day, guys, and we'll talk later.